Hey guys, it's Target Cycle on FPV, and I just finished uh, showing you guys a video on putting this uh, USB back on, right? Because this is a Zeus HDLRC board, and this USB broke off of it, okay? So what I also said was I was going to show you something else, and there's a couple different ways we can go about doing this. I'm going to start this first one with the um, with the uh, uh, the CP2104 TTL um, connection, the USB connection that is going to basically allow you to. Uh, wire to your flight controller and it's pretty basic but uh, I want to show you guys because it will help some of you so it helps me let me just put it like that having backup plans to get into your flight controller when a USB breaks is a pretty good idea um, all right so here's what we're gonna need uh, let me see I'm gonna grab some wiring don't need a lot of wire that's for sure let me just grab some Okay, so here's my little spool of wire here. And so I'm gonna grab uh, some red for our five volt. Okay, I'm gonna grab some black for our ground. All right, I'll take the yellow uh, for our RX. This will be going to our RX on our flight controller. So remember, yellow would be like an S-Bus cable, and that's always going to the RX, the receiving. And then we'll take the blue and we'll make that our TX, okay? And I'll explain those all to you here in just a second. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn our wires. So let's take both, both ends out. It's been a while since I've done this, so please forgive me if, as you know, I try not to edit my my stuff here. Unless a call comes in that's really private or something and I can't avoid it or my kids come out needing something and I don't want the world to find out what it is that they needed, uh, I usually won't edit my stuff. So um, you may see me make a few mistakes here as I try to refresh my memory. But most important right now, first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and turn up our wires. So we're gonna put use the flux pen, and again, guys, everything, the wire, the soldering pad, the cutters, I mean, everything, the helping hands, everything you see on this table, uh, or anything that I use in my videos, we sell, okay? So if you need any of this stuff, please just check our website out. We're better priced than Amazon on almost all of this. Thanks, Jeff Bezos, your real help on uh, the, uh, the non-reality of consumer business. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. I guess when you got a ton of money, you can take back sand if you want. All right. Um, anyways, uh, let's just continue here. So I'm going to twist these up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in the helping hands. And I'm just going to lay them just like that. Okay. And then I am going to come in here with some solder. And then I'm just going to tin these. Okay. There you go. One. Two. Two more wires. There's ground, and then we'll do the five volt positive, and they'll be ready to rock and roll here. And please don't make this your opportunity to try to be the smartest person in the room. Trust me, know it alls don't know it all. We know that. But um, there are quite a few ways to do this. I'm going to show you one method right now. I will end up showing you all of them, but we're going to start with this one. So please, please, please. I know you may have something to say, like, oh, but what about this one? Well, just chill out. Trust me. Uh, we will get to it, but just find your own podium. Please don't try to sit here and try to make one out of this. All right, guys, so there's our wires, okay? Now, if you look at this device right here, we need to go ahead and tin this up as well. So let's go ahead and apply our flux pen to both sides, okay? Now, wiring does, or these pins do come with it. Uh, I'm not going to use these pins because it takes up too much room. So I'm going to set those aside, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tin these up. 
and I want to use the ground. I don't think you have to use both grounds. So let me just go ahead and I'm going to tin this up this way. One, that's our RX, TX, our ground, and our fire bolt, and our ground right here. Sorry, so let me do this, okay? Now let's get the tweezers. Sorry, somebody's buzzing me over there. I don't know what it is, but they're going to have to wait. Okay, there's our ground. And if you decide you want to do this and you're having a hard time soldering, let me know. I'll at least get this part soldered for you for a uh, small little fee, nothing big. Okay, uh, remember this is the blue wire that's going to go from R. Um, this is going to go to the TX of the flight controller. So we're going to find the RX here. Okay, which is right here. Okay, and then we have our yellow, and that one's going to go to the RX of the flight controller. So we're going to put it on our TX here. Just like that. Okay, awesome. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our flight controller. And what we need to find on our flight controller, and this is the one where we have the broken USB. We need to find the following. We need to find a 5 volt. There's one right here. There's one right here. We need to find a ground. There's one right here, and there's one right here. And then we need to find a TX and an RX. So what I'm thinking here is I've actually functioned with this and didn't use a TX3. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the flux on here. I'm going to go ahead and tin it up, and I'm going to use the TX and the RX3 for this. Okay, so there's the RX3, there's the TX3, and I'll just use the positive and grounds that have already been used. All right, so remember that the yellow, let me swap these each side now, the yellow is the RX, so we're going to go to the RX3, which is right here, we're going to solder this yellow. The blue goes to the TX, so we're going to go to the TX3, solder the blue. The black is a little too long there. Hold on a second. The black, so we've got to just take, strip that down just a little bit. Let's take the black wire, which is our ground, and let's touch it to our ground over here. And let's take our 5 volt, and let's touch it right there. Okay. Ideally now, everything has been connected, okay? Now, that does not mean that you can sit here right now and plug in your USB. Let me explain to you. So if I plug in my USB... You see how the board lights up? Isn't that crazy? Okay, so check this out though. There is my, this is my beta flight, okay? And if I try to connect, okay, it's going to say the port's open, but you're not going to get anything, okay? And you can't, and here's why. Because the MSP has to be designated on here. So that's why I said, well, now that we put the USB back in, let's just go ahead and we're going to plug our, carefully plug that in. Okay, we're going to connect to beta flight and remember over here on your ports so you have your uh, sorry your vcp right here usb vcp watch what happens we're going to take uart3 we're going to do the same thing and we're going to click save and reboot okay now check this out now on our ports we have two of them right so let's disconnect real quick let's carefully take this out of here and we're going to go ahead and plug it in here and we're going to click connect and holy cow there you go so what you can understand here, what's, what's important to understand, right? What's important to understand is if you plan ahead of time, for example, which nobody's going to do because none of us do that, you can see now here how you can replace your USB, but you have to have the VC, you have to have the MSP turned on, basically. You have to know ahead of time. My advice to you is to just make it habit. If you know that there's a UART that you're not using, just go ahead and set it up just to do it. Now, those of you that get DJI setups, you're golden because when we do the DJI setup, we automatically turn one of those on. So you could easily just desolder de de the DJI cables, DJI cables, and put this on uh, if you break your um, USB port, okay? Now, on the flip side, there is a way, and I'll show you that in another video, there is some software that's written that automatically designates like a UART1 to become this, uh, to turn the MSP on uh, if you don't have it. And it's kind of a pain to do, but it is possible. Uh, but like I said, if you plan ahead of time, you don't even have to wire it. If you'll just plan ahead of time to turn on one of your non, for, for one of your URs that you're not using, you would be able to accomplish this task. 
So now I've got two USB ports, and basically what I've got is I've got a good flight controller again. That's the most important thing. I fixed the solder onto the USB that was broken, which you saw in video one, but now I also added another one in case that ever breaks again. I don't have to leave this connected, okay? But if I want to put it back on, it takes two seconds to do it. And for me, this is such a small device. I could leave it on and I could literally put my USB port anywhere on my drone that I want. It doesn't have to be to where I plug it in directly to the um, flight controller, which is a real awesome thing. As we start making these smaller and smaller, you're gonna start seeing me using things like this to, um, to put the USB port like in places so that you don't have to get to the flight controller to do it. You could literally just put it anywhere on the, on the, um, on the uh, uh, frame and you'd be good. All right, the other thing is that one of the two other things I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to do this with Bluetooth module and I'm gonna show you how to do this with a Wi-Fi module, both being third-party additions that you add just like this solid USB. All right, so guys, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free, head on over to our Facebook group section right there and uh, do that or you can head to our website and then please, 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 please just um, subscribe to our channel, man. I just would love the support. And I will have a link on where you can get this on our website and uh, everything else as well, okay? All right, guys, God bless, be safe, and most of all, spend time with your family. As I always say, you never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. I would be with mine, but they're, my boys are in the house, thank God. I love them being here, and, uh, uh, and my wife, and they're all sleeping right now, which is why I'm here doing this. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. You take care. Peace.